or do you look for it? <laughs> like, do they walk onto a crime scene like, this place is a mess. Check it for semen. <laughs> or do they just like walk in and slip? <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> what the hell was that? They find it on every crime scene. It's like, what are burglars doing? So we got the stuff, let's get out of here. Wait a minute. I wanna leave my calling card. The semen bandit has struck again. I don't understand nothing anymore. I don't. I watched TV the other day. Now tell me, maybe it's just me. Maybe I'm crazy. Is it me? Is it me or do commercials have nothing to do with the products anymore? You dig? I don't even know what a fucking commercial is about until the end. Everyone's a surprise nowadays. You seen that commercial where the lady got the black eye? This lady come on TV with a black eye, she's crying. She's like, I smoke crack. And my husband beats me. And then a voice came on and said, got milk? I said, what the? <laughs> it has nothing to do with milk. I'm not saying I'm a commercial expert, but I'll make a better milk commercial than that. Make it nice and simple. I just do a close-up of a titty and put milk right underneath. If that doesn't sell milk, nothing will, boy. I'll tell you that shit right now. It's 1997. Titties are industry in 1997. They are. I know they are. I'm a customer. I went to a titty bar last week at 3 o'clock in the afternoon. Now, that's bad. That is bad. Cause it wasn't like I was out. Said, let me, let me swing by the titty bar. No. No, I left my house specifically to see some tits. Can't judge me, there's breast in there. It's just what men do. If a guy runs up to you on the street, it's like, hey, hey, don't go in that building. There are naked girls showing their breast. Be like a white dude in a horror movie. Uh, better investigate. I'm gonna to wanna to see for myself. <laughs> Titty bar's a weird place. I'm not saying it's a good place to hang out. I, I go there every once in then. But it's a weird place. They got weird morality. One time I walked in Titty bars, all these guys coming in, right? Out of all these dudes, the bouncer picked me out the crowd, started yelling at me. Hey, buddy, sir, sir, do you want to take your hat off? Huh? It's disrespectful to the ladies. Yeah, I can shove a 20 up her ass, but I better not have a hat on when I do it. Oh, sorry about that, buddy. Here you go, Bubbles. Forgive me for the hat thing. You know why those bars are so popular now? It's because men don't know how to deal with women in reality. So sometimes we gotta take the fantasy road. The reality of the situation is very grim. <laughs> women have made a lot of progress in a short period of time, man. It changed everything. Can't deal in relationships anymore. I broke up with my girl, I'm out of Shawshank. I'm free. <laughs> I don't wanna go back. Couldn't even argue with her. You should be able to argue. If you have an issue in a relationship, you should be able to argue that issue out, right? But see, ladies, you gotta stick to the fucking issue. You guys take arguments everywhere just to win them. That's why nothing ever gets done. You be arguing about the dishes, baby. Baby, could you wash your dish at least before you put it in the sink? Premature ejaculator? Damn it. You know, why you gotta bring that up? I don't even believe in that. 
I don't. If I come, man, it was right on time. That's what I said. As far as I'm concerned, I can't come fast enough. I'm sick of being vilified all the time. David, how could you? How could you come? I was fucking. Well, what were you trying to do, huh? Come, well, I beat you. You gotta work on your time, baby. I'm down to a minute 20. You're mad at me because I have different goals and sex. I'm a speed fucker. I'm just trying to hit my best time. It's like the Olympics. And now for the dismount. 